Hey everybody, it's Bruce with Nature Calls. Picked up this timber ridge. Uh, they call it a yurt or a bell tent. Um, timber ridge calls it a yurt. Picked it up at Costco for a great price. Um, daughter's taking it down to the gorge for a uh, kite surfing this weekend. And uh, thought we'd set it up to make sure we understood how it all works um, before she gets down there. Uh, but it turns out that it's it's huge. I mean, it's just huge. Uh, you could definitely fit a queen size bed on that side, on this side. Um, but we'll, I'll take you all around and show you. Then I'll go back over some of the issues that were uh, necessary in the, in the setup. And so here it is, and this is a repack, so it can all go back in its container. And I found this must have fallen out, um, and then I covered up with the tent. But this. Goes in the center pole, tightens down and gives you some hooks to hang things on. And then there's some more uh, pockets. I'm sure there's little hooks that you can hook this on there somewhere uh, for more organization. So my daughter will have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, nice little addition. Yeah, one of the things that I always am interested in is can you repack tent back in its case? Um, once you've taken it out, and sure enough, it's got plenty, not plenty of room, but just enough room to put that back into its case. And it's definitely, that's got to be about 30 pounds. So it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's definitely car camping. Those stakes are like a 10 inch steel. We've got 18 of them, so there's plenty of stakes to set up the uh the tent they give you everything you need i would i would suggest having a mallet so the tent when you lay it out is basically an octagon As you can see you want a good you know at least 12 feet for the tent 10 to 12 feet just for the tent itself then you want a good six feet for the guy lines i would say minimum to get the right angles if not more so you're going to need a big spot um, I would just pick, when you set it up, like pick the door. So here's the door. Do these, do those first. Pound them all the way down in the ground. Do the other side and then do the sides that way. And that way it sets up real, real easy. Kind of plastic four prong thing. So you put that on now <laughs> and uh, you know, I don't know what, how long that'll last. It's got a little plastic tension knob. Then we go on inside. At the apex, you've got this little heavy canvas cup. Put your top in there. stepping on anything you just slide it right in the middle of this square it looks like it's a little reinforced area there you got the center pole up now the center pole it's again it's this steel pole pretty strong there's a little cup up there at the top and then there's a little reinforced area right here in the middle where you put the bottom of the pole here's the door um, it's like a it's like a, a V, so it's all shock corded. Um, again, it's sure feels like steel, um, and it's heavy. So um, take it in, put it up inside there, and then set up your door. Now the doors, it just there's little pockets over here in the corner, and these little reinforced pockets. You bring those out right up here. In the top of the tent, top of the door, we have a little grommet. Then on the door pole, let me get that down there. <laughs> on the door pole, we also have a little, like, nice little grommet protector. That's a nice touch. It could, you know, could just be that, but that's a little, that'll help keep the uh, grommet safe. Bring those legs back. Put that little peg pin in the grommet. 
then situate that in that pocket and that one in that pocket and there's your front door so when you get the <clears throat> when you get the guy outlines you've got this little gadget and the knot tied through it so what you need to do is give yourself a loop put that knot in there I'll put that on the stake so now to tension it you just pull like that and it jams on itself so real simple nice nylon lines they should i mean this should last i'm not going to be using this all the time but um but it, these lines should last the life of the tent put the knot back in a little gadget and then pull it taut now this is coming off the front door and those two could actually be to the same stake so there's that front door area now being that it was so inexpensive i was thinking that it would just be cheap and not well made but it turns out that it's actually uh, you know this is like a two ounce uh, nylon it's definitely sewn really well um, They've added on nice trim features. Haven't really found anything that looks like it was shoddy work. Now it also came with lots of uh, bug screen ventilation. A lot of the ones I was actually looking at before didn't have as much bug screening as I like or as much ventilation windows. So this is a zippered, you can open this up completely or you can cover it up, you know, if it starts to rain uh, and it holds down actually holds down with zippers so it's not going to be flapping around in the in the rain that's velcro you know so so they did a really nice job this is something this is something i thought was just fantastic was these low um, vents get fresh air especially during the summer um you know later on if it's something that i think i'll use in the winter i could put a stove jack in but um right now it's definitely uh what what it needs to be um, adding these vents, there's a bunch of them around the base, so you get plenty of, of ventilation. Then they also have, up there they've got two vents up on the top, so it's going to be, be pretty nice. Lots of guy outs, so all the guy outlines were provided, all the stakes were provided, poles were all provided. It has this nice uh, projecting door that comes out, and so it's covered, so even in the rain, you know, you've got a nice covered front door area, more or less. Some of the other ones, they don't have this projected door. Also comes with bug net on the door and a complete cover up. So, so you can uh, know which on some of the more expensive ones, they don't have all this bug netting and all that. So you can completely seal it up. And then if you can tell, And another nice feature is that it already has this floor. The floor is basically, it's basically your normal like blue tarp type material, but it's all sewn in with all the bug netting and the front door being able to be closed off with bug netting. You're really not going to probably get any bugs in here if you do it right. It's plenty tall. It has little rings on here. I'm sure they're for like lamps or something, but it comes with a nice steel pole. It's got a wide base on the bottom. It's got a reinforced cup at the top. The front door strut system has reinforced spots on either end and even has a grommet protector. I mean, so they've, they've done a lot of the things that should make it all last. They also have little pockets all around. You got plenty of little pockets everywhere. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty trick. You can see where they put you know reinforcement actually they have so this reinforcement webbing that that lines tied to goes all the way up and is incorporated into the main body of the tent so they've definitely done some nice work on these these windows like if you don't want them all the way rolled up uh, they do have little tabs on them so i just put a little bit of bungee cord on there and a shock cord i just made a loop so it's just long enough to go out to the 
stake that's holding out this. And um, so it just gives you, you know, if it's, you know, a chance of rain, but you still need ventilation, maybe. Uh, or if you need privacy, um, but you still want ventilation. So it's a nice little feature. Another little item that they include is this pocket system. They do have little loops um, in between the windows that this fits on. It seems to be where, where it's supposed to go because it's actually fairly tight. So we've got some more pocket storage area along with all the pockets on either side over here. So you've got a nice little pocket, pockets all over the place. Here's a little close-up of their construction. It looks great to me. Doesn't look like there's anything wrong with their construction. Um, you know, the tarp they use on the bottom just looks like your basic $5 tarp, but um, you know, it's already on. I, I really kind of like that. Yeah, everything looks good. So I've been looking at these. I always was intrigued by the bell tent or the yurt. And it's not really backpacking or anything like that. But I always felt that it had to, it was neat. And it's kind of got that glamping type of deal. The ones I've been looking at have been anywhere from like 1200 to $2,000 to $6,000. And they have these at Costco for $120. So it's a lot of tent for $120. So. I think it's awesome. You definitely need a big space to set it up in. The tent itself, you know, it's probably 12 feet wide. It's an octagon. Then your lines have to go out another six to eight feet to get the right angle of attack on the lines and all that. So, you know, you're looking, you need a big space, you know, good, you know, 20 by 20 foot space minimum probably to set this up really well. Okay, well, there you go. It's going to go off down to the gorge this weekend, and I'm sure we'll be using it some more because we've got, you know, inflatable beds, and you can put, you know, bring, it has, actually has a little little port so you can bring in electrical, like one of your little power generators. Uh, daughter's going to bring a fan. You know, there's lots of things you can do with this, and the whole glamping thing if that's what you're into. Okay, well, we'll see you not on the trail, but probably at the beach. Bye now.